Losing weight is hard enough, but trying to keep that weight off can be a bigger challenge. David Johns of Total Health and Fitness joins us to discuss why it's such a roller coaster for people, especially for women. Yeah, what we find is it's all about metabolism. Uh, most of what people are doing, and I did say that right, most of what people are doing to get healthy is actually damaging their metabolism, and it makes maintaining it nearly impossible. And so part of what you do at Total Health and Fitness is you try to get the metabolism back on track. How do you do that? You have to focus on a proactive approach. So when people come in focusing on restrictions, number one, you're gonna give up on that eventually if your diet is too restricted. And also that's only gonna slow your metabolism down. I mean, science shows that your metabolism is like a negotiation. If you eat more, you can speed it up. You eat less, you will slow it down. And that concept is so confusing and so out of kind of what we have been taught or learned over time that you're eating more and then you're losing more. You have to just eat, the, we, we have to focus on eating. I mean that's the thing is we don't diet, we teach clients to eat because you need to get the education to learn to make food work for you for your goals. So we don't just start with a lower calorie level and that's the mistake most people make is we actually look at what your basal metabolic rate is, it's a number that we measure and then we calculate your calories based on your body and your goals. And, and you have some people seeing really great results. You brought some pictures of a client, someone who has really seen some fantastic results. Yeah, and what's great about, as, as far as this is Jason, um, he, he lost over 21% body fat off his body, but he's actually lost more weight since finishing with us, and he's currently eating 2,800 calories a day. Here's Susie, lost over 130 pounds, maintained her weight loss for two years, and that's because she took the time to get educated on how to eat, not how to stay on a diet for the rest of her life. And part of what you do at Total Health and Fitness is not just the nutrition, but you're also adding in the physical activity, the exercise, yep. the strength training is a big deal. Yeah, we have to make sure we're maintaining all the lean mass. So a lot of times we'll get women and like, I don't want to bulk up, which we totally understand. We're not in the business of doing that. But we have to make sure we just support the muscle they currently have so they don't end up in that really, really frustrating roller coaster of gaining all the weight back and then some. Okay, what are, what are some tips for motivation? How do we get back on the bandwagon? And well, I think one, one thing I love to say is think about the future you. So imagine if you, six months from now, could talk to you today. What would they say? Would they say, oh yeah, put that off over the weekend? Or would they say, let's get up and get going? And I like that because it actually ties it to your emotion. Uh -huh. Think of the next vacation that you're gonna take. That morning that you're packing your bag to go, how do you wanna feel about that? Do you wanna feel excited about it? Or do you wanna feel like, oh, I wish I would've done something three months ago? Okay, good tips. Uh, where can people go to find out more information? Just go to TotalHealthAndFitness.com. We're offering a free consultation. If viewers at home are confused about how many calories should they eat, we'll measure that for you for free. Okay. on your initial consultation. So come in, get your questions answered, discuss your goals, and at the very least, you leave with a takeaway of knowing where to start. Okay. Hey, thanks so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you. Well, coming up on this